Hi everybody, Tammy here, and I wanted to do a little overview of your flat panel that some of you are getting in. Congratulations. Um, I think you're going to enjoy it, but I wanted to go over some of the basics um, so you can get started, at least um, get started playing with it. So um, the first thing I want to mention is when you first get your panel in your classroom and you turn it on for the first time, it's going to do some initializing um, at the beginning, and there is going to be a question about... Um, loading or downloading the Google services and you definitely want to say yes to that. So um, if you get to it before I do, and I would prefer to do it myself, but if you do get to it and um, you see that question and you're not sure about it, please choose yes. And it will take some time of restarting and um, initializing to get the board set up initially after that, then you, you're fine. Um, so I want to mention that when you have Google services, then you will have access to the Google Play Store and you're able to download apps like you would on any device on your phone or tablet or whatever. And you're able to download apps from there directly to your board. And I would say use um, download the apps that you use most often if they do have an app for that. Um, I will mention also some basic navigation. Um, you do have two little anchor buttons on both sides of the panel, and you can move those anchor buttons around as you, um, as you prefer, and it will always um, have that opportunity for you to go home. So, so it's just kind of a security blanket. I just want to go back home. I'm lost. Hopefully you won't have that issue, but there you are just in case. So like I said, you can move it around and um, you've got back, which is going to take you to where you were before. Uh, you've got your home screen. So that brings you back to this home screen, which you can change um, by holding down on it. You're able to edit the content and change that around however you want to. Um, so that's your home screen annotate's really cool and it will allow you to write or draw on anything that is on the screen anything any website any notes or whatever you've got a quick drawing tool um, that's nice to access just from those side buttons um, but again you you can draw on anything and it works really nicely and i'm going to cancel all of that or you can erase it um, again, you have 20 points of touch on here, so you can have kids working simultaneously, um, but that's your annotate tool, and you want to get out of that when you're done. You have a freeze frame if you want to freeze what's on, up here, and you want to if you're connected to your computer or whatever, and that, that's for another day, um, but you do have that freeze frame on there uh, if you want that, similar to your projector. App switch is if you want, it's like on your phone, if you want to choose different apps to kill, um, then you're able to do that. So that's your app switch. These are the things that I've been in before and want to get out of. And then your inputs. If There's so many ports on this device um, for you to connect to different things. So you would plug it in and then you would choose that device that you're connected to and it will pop it up here. So yesterday we were um, doing connecting a computer to show some Excel spreadsheets and we connected it with an HDMI cable right here in the front and it was just super super easy to connect that way. All right so those are your home little home buttons on both sides. Again they can be can be changed. This is your kind of your menu like you would have on your phone. So treat this like a tablet or a phone. It's that simple. It is an Android device. Um, and these are some of the apps that I've downloaded. When you add more apps, you're able to add more and it would show up here on the second page. Um, and please add Chrome because you'll want to use that for your browser. Chromium comes with it, which um, I haven't seen any issues with, but I prefer Chrome. So I have my Chrome on there, I downloaded Drive in Classroom, some Kahoot. Um, so those are the main things. And then you can customize what you want here on this main menu right here. And you can expand it with this button right here. Um, let's, talk about, let's talk about screen sharing. Let's talk about casting. So on my phone, 
what I would need to do, I have an Android device, so what I would need to do is download the app called Miracast, M-I-R-A, Cast. And when I go to screen share, this, um, all of these different types of devices um, have instructions on how you would cast those devices to the screen. So you've got your Apple and um, your Mac devices, you've got your Chromebooks, Chrome devices, you've got Android, and then you've got your Microsoft, your Windows. So um, you can choose any of those depending on what device you have. So Miracast um, is this little blue button right here. Um, it looks like a cast symbol. So um, I would choose that. This screen needs to be up when you're casting. So I'm going to choose Miracast and I'm going to choose Connect. And then it will show the Aver board and it has its name. And then it's I just click on that and it says it's connecting. Very important point here that you need to be on the same Wi-Fi. This device and this device needs to be on the same Wi-Fi. So when we connect this board, we will want to, um, to be on the same Wi-Fi. I prefer the WPISD Wi-Fi. Um, so that is, should be connecting. It's just taking a moment. So now we're connected. So this is what's my, on my phone. So I would, um, if I want to put something on the screen, um, I can put it up here. What's cool is whatever's up here on this screen, I still have the ability to annotate and I can change things around, but the annotation's still there. Um, this is like my dream kitchen, by the way. Um, so you can erase that. Um, but as long as you're connected and you see it on your device that you're connected, um, you can change the device you can disconnect and then you're back to here. Now, if you are on a laptop, um, you would just go to, let me demonstrate that real quick. One second. Now, if you are on um, your laptop, say you're in here, um, if you are using a Chrome browser for what you would like to cast, then it, Chrome makes it really easy. You would go to your three dots in the upper right corner and you choose the word cast. Then you would choose, again, you need to be on the same Wi-Fi, and then you just choose the board and then really fast. It's super fast. You are casting from your laptop. Um, and again, you are able to use the annotation tools, but it's casting what you have in here. I want to kind of notice, want you to notice that it's scrolling and showing what is happening on my screen, which kind of is cool. You kind of have a slate function um, going on between the devices when you're casting. So you can use the tablet and you can be walking around the room or you can have a Chromebook or your laptop. Laptop's kind of heavy, but um, if you had a tablet or a Chromebook, that you could go around the room and be working on something on the screen, but you don't have to be up here. You could have a student up here um, working. So I'm going to, uh, to disconnect. I'm just going to go to my little home button and I'm just gonna tab home and I'm back to where I was. Um, next thing I wanna talk about is um, the whiteboard. So let's look at the Aver whiteboard. Um, this is the screen that it looks like when you, when you initialize that. A couple of notes that I've already done. When you want to add a note, you just push the plus sign here and hit note. And then the first thing it will ask is if you want to do some kind of background. Now, I have a math background, so I like the grids. There's a bunch of different math stuff. There's music. You can have staffs here. Uh, let's kind of go through. you got some um, ruled paper. You have Cornell notes, which is kind of cool if you want to start that for your students. It's a nice organized way to do your notes. Um, so they've got the Cornell here. They've got the grids. Sports. Sports, which is kind of cool if you've got a, a board like this in the in the sports room and you're able to do um, talk about some different plays. And you've got planners and lists for that as well. 
So go back to the grid. You can choose whatever you want to, and it pops it up on your notes. Now your toolbar from here, and you can title it right over here. Now you're, you got your toolbar down here, and these are your pen tools. You got your pen tool, your selection tool, if you just want to select something, your eraser, um, some basic shapes, and doing some typing if you want to type some, some letters on there. Multi-touch allows, again, for that multi-touch um, ability on there. So you can unclick the multi-touch, sorry, unclick the multi-touch, and then you won't have that ability. You would just be able to do one. Um, but of course, the multi-touch is cool. You do have the ability to, to enlarge or, or shrink the line, which is kind of nice. This is your kind of your calligraphy tool, your fountain pen. This is your highlighter, and you can choose the color of your highlighter, and this is what it's going to look like. You can choose how big it is, the opacity of it. Um, it looks really nice. And again, you can um, bring in a PDF here, which is kind of nice if you wanted to. Um, I believe that when you have that initial screen when it said new, when you add a note, you can actually upload a PDF. So if you have your notes, a note page in a PDF format, then you are able to grab it from there, which is kind of nice, and then draw on it with all the tools that you have available here. I'm going to go to the eraser tool. When I have it on the left side, this will take erase every mark that I make, so I don't have to go over the whole thing. Um, if I want to have a true eraser and where it's just going to erase where I'm touching, then that's this one here on the right. So that's your eraser tool. Then you have your um, your shapes, your basic shapes here. You got lines, rectangular shapes, and then your circular shapes. And then you can change the, um, the size of your mark. It just makes it easy for you to, to change those shapes, make those shapes or change those shapes. Um, and then you're able to uh, just do the pen tool. Um, R equals three makes it so easy to um, to do to use a whiteboard function. Um, what's great about this, you can also bring in some images that you have maybe in your Google Drive. Um, choose an image. I can go straight from my drive or the gallery. If I've saved something from online to this device in the gallery, then I can pick something out from there or I can go straight from my drive as you see here. Um, so I'm going to go back to where I was. So I can always go back from these little, little home buttons. Um, if you want to change pages, it's just down here. I can just go to another page and I have a clean page or go back to where you were. What I like about this is you can export this. Um, I can export what I have put up here as a PDF, a PNG, or a JPEG. So as, as an image or as a PDF file, I can do the entire note or just a page. And if I did a whole bunch of notes up here and I want to put it in Google Classroom for those that missed it, that were absent or whatever, then I can um, share this and it can go straight to my Google Classroom. Um, it can go straight to my drive. So it just makes it so easy. I love that. I love it so much. Um, so that is basically uh, what we've got going on with the whiteboard that comes with it. I'm going to go back home because there is another app that kind of is the same kind of um, thing called the Sphere 2, but it's meant primarily to work with your um, document camera because Aver Media makes those document cameras that we have. So um, you are able to connect your document camera to what's going on up here, uh, which is kind of nice. But I just want to take a look at, since I don't have a document camera with me, I want to take a look at the whiteboard options on here, which is kind of cool. So those are on the top. All your toolbars are on the top here. You got your selection tool, pen tool, highlighter, um, you got your uh, lines, you can do letters, you can do shapes. I kind of like the shapes. It makes it easy to, to make shapes. I can do um, them where they're not filled in or where they are filled in. 
So again, I have the shapes here. I can put images here and I can erase. And then I think the sweeping tool just takes everything off the screen. So you do have that. And I think there is, um, you can set up your classroom here and then push to your class, which is kind of nice. So uh, we will explore that more later on down the line. So I'm going to go back home, see if there's anything else I can think of. Um, so that's some of the basics. My suggestion would be to play around with some of the things that I talked about. Um, and um, let me know if you have any questions. I'm happy to come to your room once you get your board set up. And I will be happy to answer any questions that you have at that time or we can brainstorm how we can use the board in the classroom and with the students. So let me know if you have any questions and I hope this helps at least get you a little bit familiar with something. It should be so easy. It should be, it's pretty user friendly. So I'm happy for, for you and your, your new toy. Let me know if you have any questions.